really popular shoe. More than 300 of these now spoken for, and we did sell out of the pewter, and we're about ready to go that direction, actually with this color as well. Sure. So let's have a look at Kylene on the hard, flat, unnatural surface. This time we're on a tile as well. So what I want to do um, here is just really show the difference in, in a very dynamic way, the difference in the shape of the foot um, uh, when we go from that overpronated position, which is what you see here, to that natural alignment. So what I'm going to do is just draw a line where Kylene's big toe is sitting and then realign Kylene, put it back to that natural alignment and then draw a line where the toes ended up. And you'll notice how that foot shortened and it shortened about a quarter to a half an inch. So when that foot goes back into its natural alignment, the foot will shorten. When I let Kylene go, you see how that foot is elongated. So it's gotten a little bit longer. So and that's really why we say when there's not half sizes. If you're half size, you size down because it puts your foot back in the right alignment, which could actually shorten you. That's right. And when a lot of people say, oh, I'm getting older, my foot's getting bigger. What's actually happening is the foot's getting flatter. Now, I know if we can actually just stay on that angle, because I want to show you that the, the elongation, it's not coming, the heel's not moving. It's all coming from the arch area. So again, re elongate, oh, sorry, realign. And you see that arch lifts up, the foot shortens. Let Kylene go. The heel hasn't moved. That elongation is all coming from the arch. And something else, if I can show you, I'm just going to move Kylene's big toe joint. So I'm trying to push that toe joint up. You can see a little bit of movement, but in that overpronated position, it really restricts Does that the movement that like of the tickle? big toe joint. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kylene's going to put up with so much from me, but there. Look at the difference in that movement of the toe <laughs> joint kind when uh, it's like it's giving you little waves, shaking hands. But uh, you can it's see really there. Quick, it goes to the market. And it's really, really important to have that toe joint unrestricted when you go through that walking motion because it really helps with the, with the motion of walking. So again, overpronated, really restricting, and then back into its natural alignment. It's really cool the effect that overpronation or being back in the natural alignment, I should say, really has on the, uh, on the foot. So that's where we say, you know, overpronation has a big effect, not just on that arch area, but also on the, on the joints and soft tissues in the foot and also the lower leg. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, just so cute. Oh, the colors are gone. Okay, 400 <laughs> of these now spoken for. That's the turquoise. This is the berry. We have a, a snake.